Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you an overview on how to use NBT Explorer. You'll firstly have to download NBT Explorer by heading to this page. The link will be in the description. When you get there, you just have to scroll down until you see the download subheadings. Here you can either download NBT Explorer for Windows or Linux or Mac, so make sure to click on the correct version for you. I'll be clicking on the Windows link, which will redirect me here. All you have to do is press here and you'll be sent to the final page you need. Under Assets, you want to click on the .zip file. That'll begin a download. Once the download is finished, you want to drag the zip onto your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. Then you want to right click and extract the files. For this, you will need something like 7-zip or WinRAR. If you don't have those, we will leave a link to 7-zip in the description. You want to then double click on the extracted folder and to access NBT, you just have to open up the .x file at the top. As you can see, it's working as intended so far. Now that you've installed NBT Explorer, you can learn how to use some of its features. For example, I have a hardcore world here that I died in but want to change the game mode to survival instead of hardcore. All you have to do to edit a world's values is by clicking on the plus sign next to it. Then when these files drop down, you click plus on the level.dat file. Do the same for the data file that comes up next. As you can see, it'll then show a list of configurations your save has. I want to edit the hardcore value here, so I'll double click on it and type in zero. That means that the world is no longer hardcore. You can edit any other value here in the same way. If you want to change whether you can use commands, you can edit the value to one. When you're done making any changes, make sure you press save all modify tags to ensure your changes take effect. That's not the only thing you can do with NBT, however, you can also use the buttons at the top. You can edit tags there and delete them. If you select a folder, you can then add different tags too. So in the data folder open from the level.dat file, if there is a feature missing that you want to add, all you have to do is press add tag. That will pop up with the create tag window. There, I'll just type in spawn animals. That'll create a brand new tag with an empty value. You can change the value to one, so animals spawn, or keep it at zero if you don't want them to spawn. If you're ever stuck and can't find a tag or file within a folder, Select the folder, press the search button and then the find button. Type in the tag name and boom, it finds it for you. As you can see, it highlighted the tag I wanted. One of the many other things you can do as well is copy and paste tags by using the edit button as well as cutting them and renaming them. We've now shown you an overview of the features you can make use of with NBT Explorer. We recommend you try this out yourself with one of your saves. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.